In this video, you're going to learn how to determine a unit hydrograph with deconvolution. In the last video, we used the unit hydrograph to predict runoff, but in this video, what we're going to do is take up two things we can observe in the field, precipitation and runoff, and from that, calculate our unit hydrograph, our, which is a, the symbol U here. So the, the core question here is, is how can we predict the unit hydrograph? So as I have said, we are in a watershed. We have, um, uh, during a rainfall storm, we have uh, observed the precipitation uh, given uh, in this table here from 0.5 through 1.5. This is our um, total uh, precipitation. We also know that uh, the abstraction in this um, watershed is um, 0.3 inches per hour. And so for each of the precipitation uh, intervals, we have to subtract this uh, abstraction rate. So we have this is this first column here is our, our total uh, precipitation. And then if we, we want to calculate our um, rainfall, what's called our rainfall excess, we just subtract 0 0.3 from that, so 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.2, 0 0.7, 1.2, and again 0 0.2. So now we have the rainfall that was um, on the land surface being available for overland flow. We've measured the runoff at some um, stream gauge, and we're going to use these two things uh, and the fact that we can uh, convolve them as we did in the last uh, exercise, but in this case we're going to deconvolve these two um, functions. So as we've learned in class, um, we can uh, we create our unit hydrograph by multiplying our um, our excess rainfall with the um, unit hydrograph. So uh, Q1, for example, is Q1 is equal to P1. U, uh, U1, and so then we can just rearrange for U1, and uh, solve this um, directly, where Q1 is uh, 2 cubic feet per second, and our P1 of excess rainfall is um, 0.2 inches, so our U1 is equal to 10 cubic feet per second per inch. So that's our um, the first interval on uh, the unit hydrograph here. And similarly, we can solve for um, Q2. Q2 and all the subsequent terms get a little bit more complicated, but uh, same basic principle. Q2 is equal to P2U1 plus P1U2. So we can just rearrange this for U2 and then substitute in U1 where we need to. So U2 is equal to Q2 minus P2U1 all over P1. So substituting in our runoff of um, 27 um, CFS for Q2 and our excess rainfall um, in uh, P2, which is 0 0.7, multiplied by U1 here all divided by, again, P1 is 0 0.2, is equal to 100 CFS per, per inch. So this is our second ordinate in our unit hydrograph. And using this exact same method, we could go on and solve for the other elements of our unit hydrograph, derive a full unit hydrograph that would look something like this, and now you can use that unit hydrograph with a precipitation input, just like we saw from the last problem, 
to solve for streamflow for a different storm.